Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about some inventories. So we have five inventories here to look at today. This is going to be a little bit of an inventory review. I went ahead and told you guys in the Discord server that you could submit an application to be on this video. If you'd like to be in one of these videos in the future, be sure to go join the Discord server in the description below and you can go ahead and submit an application when the time comes around. So yeah, we only have five inventories for this video. We're going to try and do it as fast as we possibly can without taking too much time up and uh, by that same token, if you want to be in the next video, uh, you got to let me know if you want to even see more of these videos because otherwise I'm not going to make them and you can't be in the video, obviously. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. I did want to quickly as well thank you guys for all the support on my two recent videos. This has been really, really awesome to get that many views and so many new subscribers. If you are new around here, be sure to go click that subscribe button if you haven't already and join our great Discord server. We have almost 1,000 members at the time of this video and I also have a Twitter account if you want to go follow that. So with that being said, let's get started with these inventories. We're going to be talking about some of the best investment skins. Hopefully that does help you if you're looking for some kind of investment to make in the future. I will point out some of them in these inventories. So the first inventory we're going to be looking at here is Cubian, Cubian Nier. I believe that's how you pronounce it. He is in my Discord server. Very cool guy. So let's go check out his inventory real quick. So uh, one of the first items that he has here, he did ask me about this as well, is a PP Bison Seabird, but it's actually a .0001 float. It's actually rank 8 in the world. So a uh, really, really cool PP Bison Seabird here, and uh, also in the top 10. So this is worth a fair bit of overpay because it is a newer skin, and it is rank 8. So it, it does look very nice. And let's go ahead and check it in-game just because it's a, such a low float skin. Yeah, this thing just looks absolutely incredible in-game. You can go ahead and see just... Really, really a nice skin, let's be honest. So with that being said, the next skin that he has is a Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr. He has two of these actually, one of them is factory new and one of them is in minimal wear condition. This is a very, very good move on his part in terms of investing because he does actually cover the minimal wear and factory new areas. He also has a couple broke purples and he has an Og Midnight Lily as well here in factory new condition. So another very nice skin here. So he, he does have the entire big three that I mentioned in my upcoming investments video. So very good job on him there. He also went ahead and picked up a gold web foil, it looks like. And it's also a very nice skin. He has a Judgment of Anubis. Not necessarily a good investment, but it is a cool skin. And then he has some Shattered Web cases. I never really talked about Shattered Web investing in terms of the cases themselves. Uh, but I do think that they do hold some sort of prowess, I guess, going forward. This is a battle pass, of course, so I'm not really sure how they're going to react. But if it's anything like Operation Wildfire, uh, they're not going to do so great. That's why I haven't really talked about them. A little bit unknown. He also has another PP Bison Seabird. This one's a triple zero six, which is actually rank 42. And then he has a another factory new PP Bison Seabird, but it's not a low float one. And then other than that, he has some random skins, a little play skin deagle there. Not really anything else in terms of investing. Uh, overall, you know, in terms of investments, he does have the big three, of course. And in the overall rating, I'd give this inventory, he does have the big three, of course. Uh, the uh, Baroque Purple, the Emerald Drummond Gunder, and then he has the really low float Peepa Bison Seabird. I think these are all really great skins to have, especially because they're all new operation skins. And of course, he has the Gold Web Foil as well, which is really nice, and a lot of Shattered Web cases. So I think overall, I would give this a solid 7 out of 10 in terms of investing. It's very good for the modern investment and uh, you know it is a cheap inventory it's not like anything insane like we're going to be looking at any second here but it is you know a very solid inventory here and that's actually why i picked it to inventory analyze for this video because it does look very good in terms of investing specifically okay and then also cubianier had a couple questions to ask the first one he had he said what should i do with the non-event skins should i sell them or wait so i'm assuming he means the uh the non-operation skins which is the judgment of anubis desert eagle mecha industries the op phobos and the other random stuff here so i would say go ahead and keep on to holding on to these uh if you wanted to make, get more baroque purples that is an option of course but, I mean, they're nice play skins, you know. You shouldn't really sell them. I just hold on to them, to be honest with you. And then he said, what would be a good knife to invest in and also as a good play skin? And that's just going to basically be a butterfly knife. I would say get a butterfly knife knight if you can. That's going to be on the cheaper end. And it's also a very good investment because butterfly knives have just been doing insane recently. I honestly can't say anything bad about them. They've just been doing great. So uh, that's going to be Cubineer's inventory. Let's move on to the next. All right, so the next inventory we have here is Fade's inventory, as I said before. So Fade's another guy on my Discord server, and let's get into it right away. 
So for starters, he has a few Berlin 2019 Legends autograph capsules. Uh, these are the ones with, uh, looks like Dupree Device, Coldzera, Nitro, Stewie 2K, uh, just to name a few here. You know, a few very good players, well-known ones. So he has quite a few of these Legends capsules. Does he have any of the Challengers or just Legends? No, he just has Legends. Uh, then he also has a Kill Confirmed in a Desolate Space, a Water Elemental, an Op Asimov, a couple uh, Atherises, a Field Tested Crimson Web M9 Bayonet, a Factory New Double Zero Float Gut Knife Tiger Tooth, a Stat Trek Minimal Wear Cortex, a Fire Serpent Field Tested with a VP Hollow Cato 14 uh, and .31 Float, and then a Stat Trek Factory New uh, Dragon Fire. So in terms of investing specifically, this is a okay page. He does have the Fire Serpent that's going to be a very strong skin to hold on to, especially because his is a Cato 14 and a Hollow, and I believe, is that on best position? Let's go ahead and give that a check. Yeah, so it's on best position here. So uh, yeah, very, very nice Fire Serpent here. I do like the Cato 14 Fire Serpents quite a lot. So, you know, nice, nice skin that he has here. I think this one is going to be very solid going forward, especially with the Cato sticker. In terms of the M9 Bayonet Crimson Web, I think this is the only other one to really take note of on this page as a good investment. The Op Asimovs are obviously just going to be increasing slowly as we go forward. They're just a very high demand skin. They've been increasing slowly. They're gonna increase slowly with the market. Uh, but in terms of a strict investment, eh, they're just kind of going. And as for the M9 Bayonet Crimson Web, as I was saying, this is a older M9 Bayonet, obviously, and an older skin on the M9 Bayonet. So I think this is a very solid knife to hold on to for a while. And then for the Legends capsules, I think these are great capsules to have. They're, you know, they're not too expensive, and they do have a lot of really great signatures inside of them. Moving on to the next page, we have a Wild Lotus in field-tested condition. So very, very rare skin here. Let's check this out in game. Yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing. Really nice, really rare skin. I think the Wild Lotus is a solid pick for this operation. Obviously, all of the reds are going to just to go insane in the future. This one, especially as a .18 field tested, is going to do great. So yeah, great option there. He has a Stat Trek AK Empress field tested, a Deagle Midnight Storm Factory New. Very good one here as well. It's from the Rising Sun collection, as you can see. So uh, that's one of those older collections that's very nice. He has an Op Neo Noir, a Nova Cage Steel, and then an M4 Asimov field tested. And other than that, that's about it. He does have a kind of a cool float field test with the 199999, I believe. So very cool float on the dog worm god. Um, in terms of this page, Wild Lotus, obviously, great investment here. Um, Midnight Storm Factory New, great investment. M4 Asimov field tested, also a great investment. And then other than that, everything else just seems to be kind of high demand skins that are always going to rise with the market and fall with the market. Everything else, though, really good investments. Next he has some cases, don't really care about those, some random low tier skins, nothing too crazy there. This looks like it's a normal souvenir. Uh, nothing too crazy on these pages, nothing too crazy on these pages. So yeah, overall, just uh, really some good highlights from this inventory. The M4 Asimov, the Desert Midnight Storm, the AK Wild Lotus, and then the Crimson Web M9 Bayonet and the Fire Serpent with a VP sticker on it. So really, really, really nice inventory here. He's got a lot of really high tier investment skins that are just gonna do great in the future. And then he has a lot of those really good high demand skins that he can make money off of just holding on to them. So overall, I would say Fade's inventory is probably going to be a six out of 10. He doesn't have some of the newer investment options that I did mention in my most recent video that can make him a lot of quicker money when the operation ends. But he does have a lot of those really good older investment skins that I do like quite a lot. So he doesn't get a higher rating than QB and Ear in terms of investing, but he does have a pretty high rating overall. So guys, after seeing the runtime of this video, I went ahead and decided to just cut it short here and do a part two because I feel like this video is going to go on way, way too long if I were to cover all five inventories in one video. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and release this part of the video. And if you did enjoy it and you liked it, show it a lot of support because I'm still not really sure if I want to continue doing a series like this because it doesn't really do as well as I usually hope on the channel. And I feel like there's not enough interest in it overall to, you know, really justify a series. So if you guys do want to see more of these, make sure to really show your support and say that you really love them if you really do love them because then you'll actually get more videos in the future but i will be doing a confirmed part two for this video it'll be coming very shortly after this one i just didn't want to make this video too long and uh, i already do have the part two ready to go so that one will probably come up within a few hours or maybe up to a day after this one but no longer than that also make sure you guys go check out the discord server in the description below and make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more content in the future more investment content make sure you don't fall behind on that kind of thing because if you do then you won't get all the most recent investment in information and you can definitely not profit from that as much and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it i will see you all next time peace